Hi, welcome. In part four, we're going to look to some examples, a little bit go codes. Uh, first example is with the uh, normal Kirpano text field plugin. These texts are using all the same text field plugin, so we change a lot of things on the fly. In script action, let's have a look in the code. In the timeline in XML, I make some quotation so I know where uh, where is happening what. Um, as you see, the tracking hotspot is in this case just normal text field, and as you see here between uh, tracking point ten and fifteen, the text field look like this, and later on it looks like that, and then it's, it looks like this HTML haha. -ha etc css background size whatever i also put some on down actions like a target blank one and a javascript second screen function so let's have a look at those so click this one up there's the second screen which iframes just another 360 video With a lot of moving hotspots, of course. Okay. Close, resume automatic, and when we click here, we get this very nice nanocopter. So as you can see, we can do a lot of with text fields and our plugins on click, on down, changing uh, behavior, whatever. Another example is these uh, distorted video hotspots. This one is tracking 10 frames a second. And I was not so accurate, and it looks a little bit nervous. I'm sure when you're accurate, it will go better. But I think less tracking frames will do better, as we will see in a minute. You see here, just a normal hotspot. Make sure that when you're editing, the edit spot is the same. Uh, let's have a look at two frames a second. Well, not so accurate as well, but a little bit less nervous. So, for some cases, you may be better off with a slow tracking speed than with a fast tracking speed. Okay, we have another example with a high speed. It's 15 frames a second in this case, which is the frame rate of this video. Thanks to Yellow Birds and Bowie Odink for the, providing this video. As you see, also, maybe nobody's gonna ever use this high speed stuff, but I can imagine. For some cases, that it's uh, working nice. Um, as the Flash Player doesn't provide enough uh, information about time and frame rates it's very hard to uh, go above the I would say 10 frames a second maybe that will change I have to look into that so another example one of my favorites is the masking so we have here text balloon and it's going behind the pole did you see that look again so we get a real nice effect about the masking. Need some development near, but it works, which is great. 
hope to see you soon in part 5.